What's up, y'all? It's your boy eBay Fight Predictions in the building. We got some breaking, breaking UFC news, baby, man. God damn, I just kind of wake up, uh, and this is what I see, man. Fucking Cyril Gunn versus John Jones for UFC 285. There's a lot to discuss here. Uh, so something got leaked at the T-Mobile Arena's little screen header thing. I'll show you guys that right now. Uh, and it is John Jones versus uh, Cyril Gunn, and it's a poster. And I think this is legit, man. Uh, this is a real life Cyril Gunn uh, and John Jones UFC S poster. It has the green highlighting that they've added now. That's a new poster frame that they've added. I know it because you know sometimes I do thumbnails and I use their poster frames or I use their uh, little uh, picture frames for their fights. And that is new. When they have that green background like that, that is for sure new and that's for sure them. And I think this is legit, y'all. And I think we're legit getting uh, John Jones with Cyril Gunn for the heavyweight title of the world. That is fucking dope. I love that fight. Um, but there's a lot of things to discuss. Uh, one, fucking Francis Ngannou is a free agent. <laughs> and he is gone from the UFC probably. <laughs> and uh, that is insane. And uh, you guys know me. I'm a big Francis Ngannou fan. And I'm happy he did what he did. Uh, I told you guys that's what he would do. Uh, he needed to leave. Uh, the UFC and uh, make the most money he could make and I told you guys that don't forget I didn't t I told you when I made that video is Francis Ngannou the next time Woodley of the UFC right not in terms of his career but the direction of where he wanted to go now Fran uh, Tyron Woodley was kind of stuck he couldn't go nowhere but Francis had the opportunity to leave and this is what Tyron Woodley would have done if he would have gotten an opportunity to leave and uh, I think this is the right decision Francis made because if you look, when Tyron Woodley was stuck, they destroyed his career, and I think that's what they would have done uh, to fucking uh, to Francis, in my humble opinion. Uh, they would have found a guy to whoop him, and they would have kept whooping him, uh, giving him hard fight after hard fight, no fucking layups, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, they, yeah, they would have got him out of there. And uh, I'm happy for Francis. He did the right thing. Go fight, uh, go fight at PFL and then go fight Tyson Fury in a boxing match. Go make your fucking money, man. At the end of the day, a lot of people will never understand this, but making your fucking money is more important than what other people think. I know some people think Francis is a bad, was a bad champion, this or that. There's a lot of politics that went behind uh, his decision and what happened. And if you dummies don't realize that, go to fucking hell. That's all I can say to you. But besides that, good on fucking Francis. Enjoy your life. Um, now, about John Jones and Sorogon, that's an amazing fight that by the UFC. That is a comeback to fucking Francis leaving. That is how you respond when you lose your fucking champion. You give us a fight like that. Uh, and uh, f and another thing, fuck Stipe Miocic because it is his fault that we did not get a fucking proper main event for UFC 282. It is his fault that we were blaming crackhead John Jones for the holdup. He was the holdup, and he needs to be blamed for that. You guys murdered crackhead John Jones for holding up that fight. Nah, it was Stipe's fault. That's one thing I will not let go, is that Stipe Miocic, all right, is a goddamn fucking, if I've ever seen it, a division hold upper. I don't know what you want to call it, a... A classless clown, if you whatever you want to call it, a guy that needs to be moved away from the sport. They need to take him off the fucking rankings. All right, I'm starting a petition now. Take Stipe Mochacho off the rankings now. Okay, he is classless. What the hell was that? One year you don't fucking fight and you get a pass? Who are you, Superman? What the hell? Is that? Get out of the rankings, man. You're a waste of time. God, tired of that guy. Man, I'm happy they didn't give him that fucking fight. Good for them. Don't wait for his ass. Punk? What the hell wrong with him? But, um, guy, he does this. And thank God he's not fucking champion. Thank the Lord Stipe Mochacho is not champion. Oh, my God. Imagine him as champ. Huh, and you guys complain about fucking Francis. At least Francis has the Dana White you know, fucking people against him and an injury that he had to worry about. Those are actual fucking valid reasons to be out for this long. That motherfucker wants to fucking be like, I want to hang out with my family and I have a daughter and, uh, uh, oh yeah, like I'm a firefighter and this and that, you know. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to chill out, man. And, oh yeah, COVID, I couldn't train, you know, man. Yeah, 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 shut up. Uh, so yeah, fucking <laughs> Sorogon versus <laughs> John Jones is gonna be amazing. 
Uh, I kind of went on a little bit of a fucking tirade, but I just had to let those emotions out. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait for that fight. I'll probably be rocking with Cyril Ghosn to beat the evil John Jones and uh, vanquish him. And yeah, man. <laughs> There's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to this matchup, but yeah. Um, yeah, recap coming soon. I'm watching the fight, so yeah. I just want to post this video. Love y'all. Goodbye. Oh, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and all that nonsense. Subscribe, like, comment, share the video. Let's get this eBay Fight Prediction Nation girl. Love y'all. Goodbye.